Hello everyone. Uh, we will be discussing about electronics in this video. So let's study what are the different types of electronic devices and uh, different types of uh, fundamental semiconductor uh, devices that are used to build these vast appliances that you are seeing here. Uh, different types of appliances that you see. We nila develop just some ane di. Then meko in our videos thara meko. Explain to me about this. Now, in this country, I know every day Telangana, Andhra Vidyarth will give it to us. Now, college ki Zoom classes every day attend. Now, now, all under kuda. This video is for electronics. We are going to clear cut uh, definitions, gani basics, gani. At the same time, I am dealing analog electronics subject. So, analog electronics subject, samani ch nani fundamentals and uh, problems. So, sa matam this video is for me to explain to us. So today, this is the first video for uh, the course of analog electronics. We will just deal with uh, electronic devices today, just basic electronic devices. And uh, the most fundamental device that you find in electronics is uh, PN junction diode. So I put down. Going to discuss this. I mean, do. Me go first. The real thing is that electronic devices are not actually in the electronics are not in the. So, Gurtubet ko ni electronics ante whatever uh, we are trying to control uh, the flow of current. Or current flow ni manang control chegilte electricity ni manang control chegilte. Our devices yewe tevo na yo. Our devices ni manam electronic devices anta using semiconductor technology to control jese gan ka dani purely electronic devices kinnna manam parigani chali. Okay. So always remember it deals with the control of electrical flow. Electrical current flow. Okay, so it's not uh, trying to uh, give a voltage, or uh, that is nothing but produce a voltage, or uh, it is not uh, dealing with the supply of uh, that that electricity. Okay, it is dealing with the control of electricity, controlling the flow of electricity. So that is my good bit call. Okay, na. So different types of dif uh, different types of electronic devices, as you can see on the screen right now. These are different types of electronic devices that you see on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, you use most of them. Okay, but weetlo chala varku unde fundamental elements evai the onna yo. Those are made up of semiconductors. Okay, remember semiconductors. So most of the devices that you are seeing here are made up of semiconductor. Elements. Okay, what are those semiconductor elements? Okay, what are those semiconductor devices that we will be dealing in this video? Especially, we will be first. Uh, we will focus on uh, PN junction diode so that uh, you can understand and uh, progress in the next upcoming videos. You can understand uh, about transistor or other complex devices. Okay, first you have to understand PN junction diode. PN junction diode is very important because if you understand this operation, then you can understand uh, transistor and FETs better. Okay, uh, BJTs or FETs both are different types of transistors, and uh, later on you will be dealing with silicon control rectifiers. All these things, but in analog electronics, right now in this course, you will be mostly dealing with transistors, okay, and transistors of uh, BJT type and FET type, okay. But before uh, trying to go into transistor uh, functioning and operation, first we have to understand what is diode, okay. So uh, and if you want to understand diode, you have to know something about what is called as semiconductor. Okay, because if you don't know what is semiconductor, then it is very difficult to understand the other things about electronics. Okay, so let us start uh, with that. And uh, there are two types of electronics you you just uh, see in the definitions wise. One is analog electronics, the other one is uh, digital electronics. Analog electronics and TNT, digital electronics and TNT, and the difference is man on that. Yes, there is a difference. Analog electronics it. Uh, in that the signals will be in a varying form okay the the signals that are used for control are in variable form okay they they, they vary from time to time okay or they can be constant but they cannot uh, switch instantaneously 
it it is not considered as a pure analog signal analog signals ante mottam anni raavachu even switching go ipudu nenu cheppindi kuda raavachu but you have to remember that there is a difference between analog and digital digital lo aithe meeku only two types of levels possible avutha digital ante zero or one binary code use cheskuni signals manam transmit chestam for control of current flow okay so digital electronics so zero means generally it is switch off condition one and a switch on condition so that means you are controlling the current flow by switching off or on by using digital uh, signals okay that is digital electronics but in analog electronics the signal is varying with respect to time okay and uh, depending on the threshold value the device will either switch off or it can amplify uh, a particular signal or it can just work like a switch okay so this is what you have to understand okay analog signal is something which varies with respect to time and uh, its value is continuous it, 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 you can you can draw a curve but in the case of digital electronics it is in the form of only two binary values 0 and 1 okay and based on the binary signals you will be getting a control of current flow there okay so this is about uh, the difference between digital electronics and analog electronics and one of the examples of analog electronics because manam analog electronics gurinchi clear ga ee course lo chadukuntunnam kabatti analog electronics lo chaala elements ni chaala devices ni manam examples ga chesukochu ikkada meer chustunde old radios meer mee intlo ekkadaina old radio unte ganaka meer gamaniste ganaka ikkada ikkada not knobs lag unnai Okay, when you rotate the knob, you can amplify the signal, and in some cases, you can also change the uh, radio signal. Okay, from uh, one frequency to another frequency. Okay, so this is a typical example of uh, analog uh, instrument. Okay, uh, analog electronic instrument. And this is an example. Kind of man, I am just watching analog electronic device and uh, digital electronic device. And this is a lot of same. Okay, but remember, digital electronics, ki analog electronics, ki. ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఒక డిఫరెన్స్ అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తే ఏంటంటే డిజిటల్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ డివైస్కి ముందు ఇంటర్ఫేస్ ఎప్పుడైనా సరే ఎన్లాగ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ డివైస్ కంపల్సరీగా ఉండ ఉండాలి బికాస్ ఎన్లాగ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ డివైస్ ఉంటేనే ఒక సిగ్నల్ని మనం దాన్ని బై ఒక బైనరీ వాల్యూ కింద అంటే త్రెషోల్ దాటినప్పుడు బైనరీ వాల్యూ కింద కన్వర్ట్ చేసి దాన్ని డిజిటల్ కన్వర్షన్ చేస్తాం అన్నమాట ఓకే దాన్ని ఏ టు డి కన్వర్షన్ అంటాం okay before we go into that depth analysis about a to d and d to a converters we have to just focus on how these uh, electronic devices are manufactured and how they work that we have to understand so first of all uh, we will be dealing with a semiconductor device which is called as diode so what is a semiconductor so there are two types of semiconductors possible in uh, pn junction diode one is p type semiconductor the other one is uh, two types of uh, materials i would say okay p type semiconductor material the other one is n type semiconductor material p type semiconductor material it generally consists of uh, positive uh, elements positive ions or uh, holes okay i won't say ions ion is wrong word it you can you have to say it as holes okay and uh, n type material is mostly made up of that means the more uh, there are more number of electrons in n type material okay so in p type material more number of holes will be there and in n type material more number of electrons will be there p type material it, it doesn't mean that if you have more number of holes it doesn't mean that there are no electrons okay so always remember p type and n type materials they consists of both types of carriers what is uh, what are those holes and electrons okay but in p type material the majority ones are holes that are they are, they are more in number id ela possible avutundi ante p type material anedi ela create chestam anedi ippudu manam discuss chestam okay so p type material lo ikkada meer observe chesthe సో ఇక్కడ పి టైప్ మెటీరియల్ ఎన్ టైప్ మెటీరియల్ మీరు చూస్తున్నారు ఈ పి టైప్ మెటీరియల్ ఎన్ టైప్ మెటీరియల్ నేను జాయిన్ చేశాను ఓకే సో ఈ పి టైప్ మెటీరియల్ అనేది ఎలా ఫామ్ అవుతుంది ఎన్ టైప్ మెటీరియల్ అనేది ఎలా ఫామ్ అవుతుంది అని అంటే సి ఇఫ్ యూ కన్సిడర్ ఎ సెమీ కండక్టర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎ సెమీ కండక్టర్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ యాజ్ అ నేమ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇండికేట్స్ ఇట్ కండక్ట్స్ ఆన్ పర్టిక్యులర్ వోల్టేజ్ 
okay it does not conduct freely okay uh, the one which conducts freely that is the electrons move in it freely and uh, is it a material atom then we call conductor atom okay insulator it does not conduct electron flow okay but semiconductor ela untundante it is not available for conduction readily but if you give a certain potential in a certain direction you will get electron flow okay so ad oka threshold limit tar kanna ekku voltage manam ichina appudu adi oka conductor la behave chestundi oka vela threshold voltage kanna manam takku value isthe ganaka adi oka insulator la behave chestundi that is